Let's be honest, UI libraries are awesome. They accelerate front-end development so much. And somehow they have one thing in common. They are most often done by one individual person. I mean, look at Chatsian, for example, made by Morty. Or the awesome library Motion Primitives, which is made by Ibele. But I found a UI library made by a big player. A UI library by Vercel. Yes, Vercel, the most profitable front-end cloud solution. So why are they bringing UI elements to us? And first and foremost, how do they actually look? So let's be transparent here. This video not only shows you the new components, but also how they work, why Vercel is doing UI now, and of course, how to install them into your project. So let's get started. So these components are called AI elements. And I thought like, mm, okay, probably these are just message components and boring input components. So components that are just related to AI, but I was wrong. The UI components in this library can actually be used for all sorts of needs. And you will see that in a minute. So right at the start here, it says AI elements is a component library and custom registry built on top of Shetzian. What does that actually mean? So I have sketched out something here. So in the middle, we have Shetzian. Okay. Of course, I said the Versal UI lib is built on top of Shetzian, but actually there's something below Shetzian and this is Redix UI. So Redix UI is what's actually called a UI library. So it's kind of like the base and Chetzian is just using these UI components. So Chetzian is kind of like a opinionated layer on top of it with minimal style because Redix UI is unstyled. And then we have the Vercel UI library on top. So this just uses the Chetzian components and builds something new with it. So the flow goes from Redix UI to Chetzian to then the Vercel UI library. And you can install the Vercel UI library with a registry or via a registry what does it mean? So when you install something via the registry, this looks something like this. You go with npx, which is just the node package execute, which package? Chatsian at latest. So this is the package name, then the option or the command, which is add, and then a domain, a domain to your component library, for example. So anywhere where it's hosted, you just take the path with a JSON file. And this JSON file is actually a registry. So in your app, you probably have a registry.json file, and there you list up all your components. Sounds easy, is a little bit more complex. If you want to know more about that, let me know in the comment section and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that future video. Okay, before we dive into the actual components, it might be pretty helpful to understand why is Vercel releasing a UI library. And the reason for that release is the AI SDK version 5, which just came out one or two weeks ago. And the AI SDK is pretty much the easiest way you can bring AI into your application. So the UI elements that Vercel just released are just streamlining the process when working with AI SDK, because now you get all the UI elements you need. So yeah, bringing AI into your application is awesome. But you know what's even better? Vibe coding. But the biggest problem of vibe coding is that most of the time the summary of everything is a big amount of garbage. And that's why you need a tool that turns your messy code into, yeah, actual working software. And of course you might ask how? With tests. So let me introduce you the sponsor of today's video, Test Sprite. Test Sprite not only achieves great placement on Product Hunt, but is also the world's first fully autonomous end-to-end -end AI testing agent. So to clean your AI gibberish up, Test Sprite provides you with context-aware test intelligence. Like a MCP that sits right in your IDE, automatically generates a structured PRD, creates test plans, test cases, and code, then it runs all of the tests, analyzes the results, and finally pushes the test reports straight back into your IDE like Cursor, for example. And even better, it communicates with Cursor and they keep looping until everything works. And this whole process can boost your success rate from 42% to 93%. So if you ever felt lost vibe coding, go in the description that you find a link to Test Sprite where you can sign up for free. Thanks to Test Sprite for sponsoring this video. Okay, enough theory. We are so far in the video and still haven't looked at a single component. So sure, there are these components that are pretty much bound to AI, like a message, for example. A little bit boring. And then we have things like prompt input, which are kind of fancy and kind of cool, but still bound to AI usage. Then there are also things like reasoning and response, but I promised you that there are more fire things, more things that you could use in other types of applications. So things like a simple loader, for example, or actually one of my favorites, the inline citation. So a pretty cool component looks simple, but if you hover it, the whole sentence gets marked. And I even have this nice and clean pop over here where I can move between different pages. Wow. Building something like this 
really would take time. Another really cool component is the code block. So for example, at a documentation page, this component comes in very, very handy. So we have just a simple code block where we can copy the code. Pretty simple, pretty cool. And then comes my favorite, the web preview. Like just a whole web preview with going back, going forward, reloading the page, maximize the screen, all that just built into a simple component that can be used so easy. Just a web preview URL and you just specify a source. Building something like that would really take hours and now it's just so easy to implement. So you can already see how to install it here, right? But then we're just installing the web preview. But what if we want to install everything? Yeah, to be honest, installation nowadays is so, so easy. So we just go to setup and then we can find the command npx AI elements at latest or with the chat CN registry. We stick with this one just because it's shorter. Then you go into your project of choice, React, Next.js, whatever, and type in this command. And that's already all. Now he's adding the AI elements. And now my camera just overheated, but that's not a problem. We just have installed it and see in our AI elements now all the components. And if we take a look into one of them, we see directly this is using the ShadCN components. So be aware that you have ShadCN installed in your application. Otherwise, these things will not work. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Somewhere around here, you find other videos of mine and have a great week. Bye bye.